Ever wonder why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer? Can you never f seem to finally get ahead? Why is it that when you look at other people that have what you want, it just seems like it's so easy for them to get more? My name's Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design and today's video is five powerful ways successful entrepreneurs spend their money to make even more. So with that, if you're a high performing entrepreneur, you wanna to look to upgrade to go to the next level, good out of stress, overwhelm, you wanna have fulfillment, have your breakthrough and going to that next level, this channel's for you. And I wanna be able to jump in because after coaching thousands of people and entrepreneurs around the world, you see what people do behind the scenes with their money, right? Like we can all see what people post on social media, but what do they actually do behind the scenes? Because I'll tell you, not all entrepreneurs are really good at spending their money. I'll make a video about that. But the ones that are successful, what are they doing to become even more successful? What do they do to... I'll say invest. And I don't just mean to make more money, but invest overall. So let's jump in. <clears throat> oh, before we do here, I just got to share with you guys. I love this little guy. I bought this little guy on Amazon, Baby Groot. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. So he has a little head. You can plant stuff in there. You can, you can put your pens or your phone. Well, maybe not your phone, but anyway, Baby Groot is my man. He's sitting here with me. So, all right, enough of that detour. Let's jump in. So the first way <clears throat> successful entrepreneurs spend their money is they reinvest that money back into themselves. So what do I mean by that? That means they get into masterminds, they get mentors, they get books, they get audios, they get um, coaching, right? Like these successful entrepreneurs, when they make money, they know that as they wanna go to that next level, what happens is their limitations in their thinking, their association, it's capped. So to be able to break through that, they need something else. They need a partner. They need something that's going to accelerate them past that kind of, uh, let's just say, this ceiling that they're in, that they face. A lot of time it's around their psychology, their mindset, the way that they think. Because they're like, oh yeah, I make 10 grand a month. But what's it take to get to 100 grand a month? That's a whole different thinking system. And then a, hundred, a million a month, that's an entirely different way of thinking. And so we may need to shift that. So being able to invest in coaches, mentors, books, seminars, mastermind events, though, and, and the events period, those are some of the ways that these successful entrepreneurs that I'm seeing behind the scenes, they're elevating their game because when they elevate their game, guess what? They go and they make more money, right? How many of you would like to make more money? Right? So with that, these successful entrepreneurs, the first way is they invest it back into themselves. <clears throat> All right. Number two is they reinvest a portion of that back into their business. See, if you own a business and you're not feeding that bad boy and even more as the time goes on, then you're not going to be in business very long. See, you're gonna to have to take some of your success and reinvest it into more people. You're going to have to um, get systems. You're gonna to have to run ads and marketing. You might even need a building or um, different software. You're going to need to take that and you're going, as I'm looking here, I put in my notes, reinvest a portion back into their business. That can be many forms. Otherwise, the business is going to dry up because as it starts to get the wheels turning, it needs more fuel, right? Think about it. If a car is starting to go faster and faster and faster, it's going to take more fuel. Versus if you just kind of want to creep forward, you're not going to take a lot of fuel. So if you're going to be successful, the people that scale their business are the ones that reinvest back into it. Usually it's a software for systems. Usually it's people to be able to do the jobs that you as the business owner or as the entrepreneur, they don't want to do or need to do might not be their specialty or they don't have time to do. So leveraging their time is huge. And those are two biggest ways and they're marketing, right? To be able to scale, you got to have great marketing. So spending ads on that or maybe, you know, flyers or whatever form of marketing it is, successful entrepreneurs, they spend a portion of their money reinvesting it back into the business. Okay. <clears throat> Number three, they take a chunk of their money and invest it into their portfolio. See, this is the biggest misconception is people think that, oh, all these great entrepreneurs, they just have all this money coming in. But what if it happens to get cut off? What if their business dies because of something like COVID? 
Well, the successful entrepreneurs know you always need to take a chunk and put it away for a rainy day. And usually not just a rainy day fund, but a portfolio that's growing without you there over the years so that if anything ever happened in their business, they're still taken care of over here, that their portfolio can fund their lifestyle and beyond. I always recommend if you're in a good financial position, like a lot of the successful entrepreneurs that I find, but if you're in a good financial position, have your rainy day fund, but after that's filled, make sure you're taking a portion. Start with a per small percentage, maybe 5%, and then work your way up because the more you put away over time and you don't look at it, you don't touch it, I would say make sure you evaluate it or you have someone that's a professional evaluate it, especially a fiduciary, but <clears throat> that's going to grow over time. And that's something that you don't touch. And you just focus your energy on building your business, reinvesting money back into it while you're investing into your portfolio. So that is number three. <clears throat> now, number four is a different one. A lot of you may not be like, really? Is that what they do? Like, But every successful entrepreneur that I know that's making a healthy six, seven, eight, and even nine figures, their biggest investment is in their health. Usually, it's in their health. I'm talking red light therapy, cryotherapy, chiropractor, personal trainer, nutritionist, supplements, juicing. I mean, they are investing in their health. I know people who have over $2,000 a month in supplements and like special care, like chiropractors, massages, stuff like that. They spend over $2,000 a month doing that. However, why do they do that? You might think that's a waste of money. They could go put it in their business and make even more money. They could go put it in their portfolio and a lot of $24,000 every year to compound. You're absolutely right, but they think differently because your health is your wealth. Because what happens <clears throat> if you're laying on your back and you got COVID? What happens if you're just feeling sick all the time? How are you really gonna be able to function a high performance business? They reinvest it back into their health. If you wanna be able to be at peak performance, you gotta make sure your health is optimized. And a lot of times what happens is most people, they try to run a million dollar business off of the dollar menu. And that just doesn't work, right? It's a different way of thinking and it seems like it's in reverse order, but when you're feeling great and you're confident, that brings more confidence. When you're confident, you think differently and you take different approaches, different risks, and all of a sudden you get those singles, doubles, triples, and home runs in your business. So you gotta invest in your health. Your health is your greatest wealth. So that's number four. And number five, <clears throat> this is one that I think no matter where you are in life, but if you're a successful entrepreneur, you would agree is they invest not in things, but experiences. They invest in experiences. And you might just think, oh, maybe it's a trip to Mexico or to Europe. Well, yeah, that's it. But what these successful entrepreneurs are doing, there's a different intention behind it. They're not trying to escape. See, a vacation means to vacate an area right so you want to vacate where you are to go somewhere else high performing entrepreneurs they don't vacation they don't vacate what they go and do is they go and stretch themselves with experiences by dream building so what do i mean <clears throat> they may go to the fanciest hotel in whatever city or state that they're in or country that they're in they might go to the most uh, top of the line and they might spend a weekend, a week, two weeks there. They might rack up an enormous bill. Now, they're not doing that every month or every week, but they're doing it every once in a while. Maybe it's you know once a quarter, maybe it's um, annually or biannually. And so they do this because it stretches their vision. It stretches them outside of their comfort zone. Oh, that's cute. You're making 100 grand a month. Very cool for you. That means you're making a $1.2 million business. Woohoo! <clears throat> but then when you get around people who have a $150 million business and you're like, oh my gosh, you're making $12 million a month? Now, obviously, there's expenses, right? But, and they're, they're rolling up on a yacht instead of just a private plane that you charter, that you might have chartered with a group of people, right? Like JetSmart or something. You're coming in on JetSmart or they're coming in on a 50 foot yacht, right? That's worth, you know, $10 million. 
that's a different level that gets them thinking differently, gets them thinking bigger. There's a great book called Think and Grow Rich is one, but the magic of thinking big. So many of us, we set these internal limitations and whenever we bump up close to that limitation, it's like we have this resistance, right? Like if you're running and there's a wall coming up, you're not gonna continue to run. You're gonna slow down and put some resistance up, right? Maybe embrace it with your shoulder if for some reason you run into a wall, I don't know. But you see, that's the difference is they go and create these experiences. They'll go, <clears throat> they'll go to Vegas and you know, rent a Bugatti and drive it around the track and pay five grand for the day doing it. They're stretching themselves. If you wanna to go to the next level, you gotta get outside of your comfort zone, but most people aren't willing to pay to do that. Cause I remember when I was broke, my one of my buddies, he would always stretch us. He'd take us to this really nice hotel or he'd take us out to these great dinners. And I never paid $150 for a dinner before, but he would stretch us where we'd all pay $150. And it was just mind boggling. The food was delicious, the experiences were awesome but it was outside of my comfort zone. But once I got it, it's like a rubber band. Once you stretch it, it can never go back. So one thing that I'm gonna encourage you to do is do something, even if it's once a year, don't go on vacation. Go dream building, go get outside of your comfort zone. I mean, you gotta do something so radical. Go spend $1,000 on a spa day. Put $80 a month away so that at the end of the year, around Christmas time, you could go spend an entire day at a spa and get used to that. If you're not as successful as you wanna be as an entrepreneur, I would invite you to start looking at these five different ways that the successful entrepreneurs, what they're doing with their money and how it's helped them create even more versus the ones who are unsuccessful. And we'll make an entire video around what unsuccessful entrepreneurs do with their money and why they're caught in this rat race. Yeah, they have a business. Yeah, you say that they're free, but I see behind the scenes, they're not free. They don't own a business. The business owns them and that's why they're broke. They just throw out on social media things they're doing to make them seem more successful than they really are. But I'm not here to name names. That's not my job. I love, and my goal is to help those entrepreneurs get on track, right? To be successful like a lot of my clients so that they can make seven, eight, nine figures in their business. Because here's the deal. <clears throat> Master Life by Design is about consciously creating the life that you want at any level. These entrepreneurs, they play a bigger game and that's okay because the more of the game that they play and win at a bigger level, the more impact that we could spread throughout the world. They have, most of them have a higher mission outside of themselves. So if you wanna know what they do with their money, this is an extra credit one, number six, this is extra credit, they give. And they don't give grudgingly. They give with an open heart. They love to give. And there's a law, the law of sowing and reaping, the law of giving and receiving. When you give with the right heart, you know, I believe when you give, God sees your heart. You can say what you want, but the, what's in your heart is different. God sees that. But these successful entrepreneurs, they give. And if you want to know a secret, they give with an amazing heart, not grudgingly, not doubting or scarcity mindset. They give with an open heart, knowing that it's only going to come back even more abundant to them. And so I'll give you a fun tip. Whenever, I, whenever we go out to eat, like we went on a date night, me and my wife yesterday, we always tip above and beyond, you know, the 20 or 25%. And we, because we want to bless them. But before I sign, I imagine my money that I'm giving them going out, circulating in the economy, multiplying and blessing so many people as it comes back to me multiplied. So it's like it's multiplying, 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 blessing people along the way. And I just, I see the abundance come back into my life over and over again. And that is the secret of successful entrepreneurs and what they do with their money. That is the extra credit. That is number six. That is the one you want to take to the bank more than any other ones, except for maybe your health. You definitely want to be able to take care of yourself first too, because if you can't take care of you, you can't take care of others. So with that, I know you found value in this video. Give it a thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit those notifications because we want to be able to let you know when we come out with our three videos every week for all the high performer entrepreneurs out there that want to take their life, their business, and their marriage all to that next level. And most importantly, if you found value and you have something that stood out to you, comment below. Let me know what that is. 
If you feel like you're one of those entrepreneurs who's just stuck in a rat race, you're just producing and it's going everywhere and you just don't know how to break through, fill out the application at the bottom. Talk to one of us about what's it like to work with a top peak performance coach that understands high performers, that allows them to break through their limitations and go to that next level in their mindset, their marriage, their finances, their business. We want to be able to support you. So fill out that application below so we can help you from there. So with that, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Go out there and make today count. See you guys.